Hey everyone, Rob Greenfield here, and right now I'm standing in a churchyard. And this churchyard is an amazing example of what can be done across the nation. Now churches own millions of acres of land, and that land could be used to create more sustainable, food sovereign communities, and make sure that our neighbors are well fed. Now that's the vision of Pastor Sarah Robinson, my friend, and not only her vision, but what she's actually doing here. Our vision is to become a model of sustainability for faith communities all around the world. The Bible says we are to care for the earth, but regardless of what you believe, we feel that what we're doing here is something that anyone can do. So one of the things that we realized is we have a lot of unused space on the property and we wanted to use it more intentionally. And so we partnered with a local organization called Fleet Farming. Their motto is grow food, not lawns. They make people's front yards into gardens and they have swarms of volunteers that they gather to care for those gardens and the people who live there are able to take what they would like from the vegetable garden and the rest goes to local farmers markets and chefs uh, and that all that goes back into the community and so our garden here uh, one of their largest actually we open it to the community anyone can come and and take vegetables from our garden taking advantage of the space we have we also partnered with Rob Greenfield and the Live Like Alley Foundation to put over 25 fruit trees on the property. And these are community fruit trees for anyone to access. They're also listed on fallingfruit.org. And I'm excited to see in a few years when we will literally have hundreds of pounds of fruit that everyone can have access to. Another way we build community is by hosting the Orlando Permaculture Group, a gathering of people from all over Central Florida to learn from each other about how to live with the principles of permaculture. Now, I describe permaculture as paying attention to how nature does things and working with and mimicking nature uh, to make sure all of life can thrive. Now, you might not have a, a group like Orlando Permaculture, but there are sustainable groups of various kinds everywhere, and it's a great way to bring the community together. This garden right behind me is a pollinator garden planted by fleet farming and volunteers, and it helps work with the vegetable garden in bringing important vital pollinators to the area. On top of all this, we also want to live more sustainably inside the building. So even though it's more work, we have made the commitment to eliminate one-time use tableware, plates, cups, plasticware, to compost, to recycle. We believe this is an important part of caring for the earth as well as caring for each other. What if every church and place of worship would do something similar? It would change the world, and I'm excited for that.